This week at Interior, President Obama's final budget proposal will be unveiled next week. In that budget, the president calls again for full and permanent funding for the Land and Water Conservation Fund. The president's budget invests $900 million in funding for fiscal year 2017 to help preserve parks and historic sites, conserve forests, rivers, lakes, and wildlife habitat, and provide access to outdoor recreation. The 50-year-old program uses royalties from federal oil and gas leases to provide money to federal, state, and local governments to support conservation and recreation projects. An agreement reached this week between Interior and other government, state, commercial, local, and tribal stakeholders to move forward with the effort to remove four dams in the Klamath River Basin under the Klamath Hydroelectric Settlement Agreement. This week's agreement would advance a new path to the dam's removal using the federal regulatory process instead of a legislative one. The goal is eventual restoration of the Klamath Basin, the recovery of its fisheries, upholding trust responsibilities to area tribes, and sustaining the region's farming and ranching heritage. Secretary Jewell and USGS Director Suzette Kimball among those taking part this week at a White House summit on earthquake resilience. The secretary marked the progress being made on the Shake Alert, an earthquake early warning system created in part by USGS. The secretary says while no one can predict earthquakes, the study of natural hazards and their causes and impacts helps us create more effective tools to prevent hazards from becoming disasters. The Fish and Wildlife Service this week announced more than $20 million to fund 28 projects across 12 coastal states. Those projects will aim to protect, restore, or enhance more than 10,000 acres of coastal wetlands and adjacent habitats. Check out the full list of projects at fws.gov. The National Park Service this week releases fiscal year 2015 deferred maintenance statistics for national parks, nearly $12 billion. That's an increase of $440 million over the 2014 numbers. Deferred maintenance refers to required work on roads, bridges, visitor centers, campgrounds, and the like, work that's been delayed for more than a year because there's not enough funding. While the yearly maintenance bill is double annual appropriations, Congress increased the Park Service's budget in 2016, and that will help slow the growth of deferred maintenance. The Bureau of Reclamation this week released its Truckee River Basin Study, first initiated in 2010. The river is a vital water source for more than 400,000 people in both California and Nevada, including Lake Tahoe. The study provides water managers with information to better understand the area's water supply and demand through the end of the century. You can find it online at usbr.gov. And one last image from Secretary Jules' travels through Africa last week with stops in Gabon, Kenya, and South Africa, all in support of the fight against illegal wildlife trafficking. This video from the Lewa Conservancy in Kenya, Secretary Jules making friends with a baby rhinoceros who clearly doesn't mind the attention. That's this week at Interior.